Hey there guys, Fury Atomic here, and welcome to another episode of Cotton Kale Kai. Last episode, we were pretty salty as fuck. So, this time, let's hope something good happens instead of our little mm, salty recipe that we've done. <laughs> okay, this time we're gonna be doing the second map for the West Coast. But before I do that, I feel in the need to go and Kai, well, mo well, not modernize, but more of like upgrade. Sendai's pretty, uh, no offense, bad stats. I mean, comparing to the other ships I have in my fleet, Sendai definitely needs a some little improvements with torpedoes and the damage <laughs> Kaika <laughs> Kaika is what we need approved so we're gonna be using Kumano uh, Jinsu Naka and fortunately the other two Tatsuya and I ah shit what was her other name ah but yeah Now, we're gonna go and sortie. World 2, here we come. Oh, shit. That's interesting. <laughs> Woo! Another air raid attack. And from what I can understand on that little map, the two uh, D routes are San Francisco and Los Angeles. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, this song. <laughs> it's not bad, but it just kind of brings me back up to that one time I was sorting. I don't remember how long ago it was, but I remember this was playing in, I think, one of our ships did get sink, like a Togo. I don't remember the song, but... Or was it with Noshiko? I forgot. The song isn't really bad, the BGM. Speaking of BGMs... I remember that there was this one uh, Reddit user who act kindly asked me if I could compose a little small list of the BGMs played on each hexagon map. And I guess fulfilling his or her request, I'm probably going to have it uploaded uh, by the end of this week on a little text document that oops, you guys can pretty much see. Ah, uh, let's skip this battle. Despite the fact that these are just really easy ships to kill. Because ideally, we don't even get a drop. <laughs> Come on. You don't even get a drop in this. And plus, our resources would be spent a little extra more. So, let's continue on. <clears throat> Ooh, submarines. I don't know how we're gonna deal with that. Because we only have Sendai who could attack the submarines. <laughs> I really feel bad for all these other five ships that I have. They don't have anything that can attack submarines. Ugh, three submarines. At the very least, we'll have Sendai have her ASW Battle Command set. So she could ideally damage some of the ships. And one ship at the very least we damage ship launch. I think. Oh no. Three. Yep. Kind of failed that one. Because she already used three of the turns that we gave her. Because the other two turns don't count the... The... Uh, opening attack and the closing attack. Just only three. 
the, at the very least, none of our ships got tied. More like Shokai took some damage. Ooh, doko doko. Uh, let's go to F. Sweet, easy peasy lemon squeeze, I guess. <laughs> this time, let's have the advanced fort shelling. Man. Uh, wrong one, it's supposed to be aerial shelling and a torpedo. Hmm, I wonder how can you have Kohoteki and uh, aerial attacks fire at the same time? Should probably look into what command you could do for that one. We'll see. I think it's like aerial first and then have a torpedo set. I don't know. It's a little complicated. We'll see. for damage, 15.2 centimeters. Those guns aren't really that bad. It's actually good. Alright, now the other three attacks. Ooh! Cutting attacks! They actually work! Yippee! Hey, at least now we know the cutting attacks work. I think they activate on a very low chance, which is not good. <clears throat> Ooh, Kongo's now level 20. Uh oh, we got Poi! Huh, speaking of drops in Poi, I think I might have found a uh, lead on Akizuki's drop. And it's on the same hexagon I'm sorting on. But different map though. I think it's the map before this one, which is the first map we sorted on to, the west coast. And I think her drop is like a little scattered. Like, I know for sure that one of them is node K, because that's boss now. But, I'm gonna have to check my uh, friend since. He happens to also be playing Konkly Kai, but some of his information is a little tipsy and unrecalled for, so probably gonna check up with him. And I think I should probably go and sorty to the first mode, just in case if it really is true. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's easy peasy lemon. Oh my gosh. Did, did did the developers actually rush on this game and just place in whoop, here, we'll have you defeat an elite cruise carrier and then take out three other destroyers. Like What? <laughs> like see? What's left is just the carrier. Ah, Kongo's, uh... That's not good. But hey, at least she doesn't have torpedoes. <laughs> huh, speaking of battleships and torpedoes... I read a little article about... Hyuga's and Issei's armaments, and apparently in World War II, they both had uh, torpedo tubes as uh, 
battle heal, battle, uh, battleship radiation. So, I'm not sure. Could they possibly equip to kill Hoteki or, like, torpedo tubes? I could check afterwards, but I don't think so since they're classified as battleships. So, <sighs> I wonder, though. <laughs> If it really is in the game, then we could probably check it out later. Oh, a drop. Who could it be? Holy shit. Isokaze? Oh my. F no way. So that's our frickin' first event drop. Well, technically, she is an event since 2014. She was only in the event. But, oh my god. Our first ship, that is a drop, that came, or I should say, originally first dropped in an event. In. An. Event. So it looks like we can really obtain all the other event ship girls in this game, but... Probably around like this kind of uh, hexagons that we're on. But, oh my gosh, I want to go check out Isokazu right now. Ooh. Yeah. I've got a paradigm from the tutorial that I recently made. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, where's Isokazu? Iso. Ah. Oops, she's right there. Right, let's place her with Fubuki. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually feel relieved. Our first ship drop that came from an event before. Huh. So it looks like Akizuki can also drop in this game. And Teruzuki maybe. Teruzuki, I have no idea, but I assume she is probably in a more difficult you know, to obtain. Huh. Sounds neat now. I think we're gonna end this video right here. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying more of these Kunkali Kai videos, and you guys are hopefully looking forward to more in the future. And I think I can safely say for sure that, yes, to answer some of your questions, the event ship event girls will definitely drop, just more of like in the N where the final box boss hexagons are. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Steam again, i sure, and also on Reddit. If you can also find me in the Conclave uh, subreddit form, Fury Atomic. Alright, this is Fury Atomic, and I'll see you guys all later. Ninja!